Welcome back. My name is Jessica and you're at Jessica's Craft Time. So today we're going to do some unboxing, but the first thing I thought I'd show you is this. Um, I got this off my beautiful husband for our anniversary. You may have seen on my Facebook page I've done a koala and a turtle and I don't think they're on this box. Oh yeah, they are. There's the koala. That's the koala I've done. So it's kind of like Lego. You have these thin blocks that you then use this pin to screw together. Um, I love it because it takes some time to put together. Um, the, koala, it, the koala took me a good few hours. So this is the biggest one that I own. It's the macaw. I love how his wings are up. Um, this one's 2050 blocks. So it's a biggie. So I thought I'd show you. So keep an eye on my Facebook page if you'd like to join. Um, the link's in the comments. And you will see this one coming along. Um, I'm not one for liking to start lots of projects. I need to have finishes. So I've got two projects on the go. I've got a cross stitch and a diamond painting. Once I finish one of them or get close to finishing, I'll probably start this. Um, it takes a lot of space to spread out and there's lots of little pieces. I'll just show you the, the pieces on them. So they're, they're the little pieces and you sort of need to know. There's all different shaped ones and it takes a bit to spread out. So I baggy them all up in different sizes and... So anyway, that's that's my macaw. So that will be coming along um, shortly on the page. So keep your eye out. Now I've got a couple of unboxings. I've already opened this one because I wasn't sure what it was. So this is from Itchy Stitching. Stitch. Stitchy. Itchy Stitchy. Um, this is a Australian web page I'll put the links in the comments below but what I got here are all my DMC 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 so these are the rest of my DMC colors for my um, color cross stitch just bring it down so this is for my temperature cross stitch that I've made my own pattern for. I'm hoping the colours will work. I think they will. I've sort of got pinks and purples together. I've just got to play around with the colouring. don't know about that one. So I think I'll do sort of lighter to darker in each group. And then a few that I wanted to add into the other colours. So that will be coming along shortly. I've just got to, I just want to finish the other cross stitch that I'm on first. I'm not, yeah, it, it, for me, I can't, I can't do multiple projects because what happens is they sit there and they don't get opened. Uh, they don't get finished and it stresses me out. So this one I've been waiting for for a little bit, but you know, it's come finally. I can get it out. Do, 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 do. Hang on. Let me just pull this bit of paper out. So it's just my invoice. And there's nothing else in the box there. Ta da! It's my Diamond Painting Guide and Logbook by Jennifer Roberts. I'm so excited to get this. I love my books. So when there was a book on diamond painting, I had to have it. The beginning of a diamond painting addiction adventure, which is so true. So I'm going to have to sit down and read this one. Why diamond paint? So it's got lots of how to diamond paint. Diamond painting lingo. Pro tips. When you've completed your diamond painting of the 
for the day, recover your canvas to protect unfinished and exposed areas. This will keep dust, fuzz, paper and accidental spills from marrying your painting. So all about different tools, different pens, different places. There's so much in here. Digging deeper. So many things. Leveling up your diamond painting. Storage. Tools. How to fix problems, your canvases, resources, diamond painting companies. All different diamond painting companies, diamond painting accessories. And then we go into our logbook so you can go in here and put a photo you can write all about all your different how much it costs you everything there and to a true diamond painting attic look how many pages there are there's so many 172 from 95 look how many diamonds i can fill in so that's going to be a really fun fun read i'm looking forward to going through there and hoping to pick up a few tips of diamond painting now i've got a new light oh you can see it in the cover there hopefully the reflection's a bit better on my my desk but that's the diamond painting guide and logbook by jennifer roberts so i'll link that down in the description below as well so that's all we've got in this week um not sure there's, there's nothing else coming in because this will be going up after i finish here um things are a little bit slowing down um, I don't want to order too much until I get some of the stuff I've ordered in. Um, yeah, so anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. It's just a short one today and I will see you all later. Bye.